Hello everybody, Trevor here. Engines and other vehicles aren't the only important characters in the franchise. It's also the humans, whether they be controllers of a railway, farmers, or a simple comic relief character who actually has depth. Unfortunately, there won't be a lot of human characters in the upcoming reboot aside from Sir Topham Hatt and some people in the background. In fact, there won't be any drivers or firemen at all, which is stupid because they are the ones who drive the engines and are the voice of reason. But that's a different discussion for next year. Today, I'll be talking about my top five favorite human characters in the show. For this list, I'm only going to include characters that either appeared in model form or in full CGI form. Also, I'm not going to include live-action characters whether they appeared in Thomas Magic Railroad or just in special DVD or online segments such as Mr. Perkins and Mr. Evans. Now without further ado, let's begin. The number 5 spot goes to Sailor John. I've said this before in my top 10 favorite Thomas villains list, and I'll say it again. This guy is one of my favorite villains in the franchise because he's a perfect example of a twist villain done right. Not only that he betrayed Skiff so that he can steal the pirate treasure for himself, but also try to blow up Thomas with a patch of dynamite. How threatening is that? I even thought Sir John Hurt did an excellent job voicing the character, and it makes perfect sense why his character is called Sailor John. Another funny thing about Sailor John is that after the events of Sora's Legend of Lost Treasure, his model was reused as a regular sailor in the Big World Big Adventures movie, I'm not so sure if they are the same exact character, or that's just a different character altogether, like they did to some of the other human characters in the show. Anyway, let's move on to number 4, Mr. Percival. Also known as the Thin Controller in the UK, Mr. Percival is in charge of the Scarloy Railway in the TV series, replacing Mr. Peter Sam and Sir Handel Brown from the Railway series. He didn't make an official appearance in the show until Season 9, and the funny thing is, in seasons 4 through 7, Sir Topham Hatt was the controller of that railway as well as the Northwestern Railway. He must be a very busy man. One thing I like about Mr. Percival is that he looks like a skinny Sir Topham Hatt, which is why he's called a thin controller in the UK version as I said before, but with a bowler hat and glasses. I also thought it was pretty neat that he prefers to bike rather than to drive a car although his take-and-play model portrays him in a red car, but that's highly inaccurate. In addition, he sure does have a lot of children. And when did he get red-headed twins in Season 12? And although I do prefer Keith Wickham as Mr. Percival, because, you know, most of the Sodor residents are British, and that Sodor is a British island off the coast of England and the Isle of Man. But I think Carrie Shale did a great job with the character, too. So therefore... They're both suitable, in my opinion. The number three spot goes to Sir Robert Normby, the Earl of Sodor. One interesting thing about this guy was that he was originally in the Railway series, but was the first Railway series character to be introduced into the CGI series since those in Season 4. He's the one who restored Alstead Castle and opened a dinosaur park. I like this guy because he's so jolly and kind of funny, he runs a really nice estate railway where he owns not only Millie, who was the first female narrow gauge engine in the show, by the way, but also Stephen and Glenn. The way that he also helped restore both Stephen and Glenn just goes to show you that he can be very generous. Not to mention that he likes to host parties at his estate, such as Christmas parties and in season 24, a model railway exhibit. Ever since the season 20 episode, Over the Hill, it was teased that the Earl was going to open a railway museum at his estate, but unfortunately, this never happened. And that's one of the things I don't like about Season 21, is that there are some plot threads that were never ever finished due to Big World Big Ventures being pitched. Hell, I was expecting it to appear in Seasons 22 through 24 as well because of these reasons. I'll eventually make a full video about this, but right now, I just want to move on. Number 2, Dowager Hat. When it comes to females, my favorite of them all has to be Dowager Hat because she's one of the funniest characters in the entire show. 
An example of this was in Dowager Hat's busy day, where she made a dramatic entrance to Timothy's sheds and orders her son to go home to bed due to his illness, which leads to her being the one in charge of the railway. And another hilarious thing about that particular episode was the fact that she misnamed all the engines including Gordon, whom she called him Jeffrey, which is a reference to who's Jeffrey, and Emily as Emerald and Emery. But later, she screwed up even more by giving them the wrong jobs. And Emily eventually came to her assistance to solve the problem, which became very successful thanks to Emily. A piece of trivia that you may not know is that she first appeared in the Season 5 episode, Gordon and the Gremlin, where she owned a Dalmatian named Gremlin. And in that episode, she was as jolly as she was in the CGI series. However, I do find it odd that she was a bit out of character in the Season 9 episode, Thomas and the Birthday Picnic, where she seemed very stern instead of jolly and funny. I'm very thankful that Hit Entertainment pushed her character even more in the CGI series because she's such a very funny old lady, and Keith Wickham does a perfect job with her voice, which also reminded me of how Alec Baldwin voiced her in Season 5. Before I get to my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ruth. She got beat out by Dowager Hat. Farmer Cole. He would have been number one. A and Old Bailey. The reason why I didn't include Old Bailey is because, for some reason, in the CGI series, he, he, he looked pretty young. I always prefer his older self back in Season 5. Baz and Bernie. They've got beaten out by Sailor John. And my number one most favorite human character of all time is Sir Topham Hatt, aka the Fat Controller. Nothing can top this character in my opinion. I consider Sir Topham Hatt to be number one because not only that he's a father figure to his engines, but he's very important to the Northwestern Railway. He's the one who keeps the railway running smoothly and on time. Without him, there will be confusion and delay. He also built the coffee pots like Glenn when he was in his younger days. Sure, he can be stern at times, but he also has a very kind and gentle side of him. An example of this was in Who's Jeffrey, where he assures Thomas that we all make mistakes, and that we have to admit our mistakes even if we didn't mean for them to happen. And he also told Thomas that he accidentally broke his wife's teapot, and he admitted it to her. Another reason why I consider him number one is that, like his mother, he can also be pretty funny at times and bad luck occasionally happens to him. For example, in Liddy Hat's birthday party, he was trying to drive to his wife's birthday party clean and fresh only to get dirty along the way. Another instance was in Buckle Tracks and Bumpy Trucks, where his mother forced him to wear a funny-looking white hat, which is a safari hat to be precise. At one point, he tried to get rid of it by tossing it out of his car only for it to come back like a boomerang. But eventually, he learned that the color white reflects the sun and helps prevent rails from being dented by the sun's heat. If I could think of one more funny example, it would be in The Beast of Sodor where his car gets stuck in the snow and has to find a way back home to have lunch with his mother. On the way, he gets chased by a black bull, slips on some slippery ice, and soon gets covered in snow until he becomes the abominable snowman. These were some of my favorite episodes starring Sir Topham Hatt, and those are all the reasons why I consider him to be my number one most favorite human character in the Thomas franchise. Oh, and one more thing. In my honest opinion, I like to call Sir Topham Hatt by his Sunday name instead of his nickname the Fat Controller. Because calling him by his nickname is like calling him fat, and that is a derogatory term in America. I mean, no offense to the UK viewers, but I'm kind of overweight too, and I don't like to be made fun of like that. But hey, at least I'm not as fat as Fat Albert or Peter Griffin. Now tell me in the comments section of which of these humans are your favorite. Because I'd like to know. Also, which top 5 or top 10 should I do next for Thomas? Tell me that in the comment section below, too. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.